an anonymous executive producer for sponsoring this reaction. Anonymous or not, appreciated nonetheless. Thank you again for sponsoring this reaction. Welcome back to another EP sponsored reaction, the series finale of the Expand Season 6, Episode Number 6. People, here we go. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend that it's over. You're here to watch it, the Expanse. And also, it's for the algorithm. So thank you. Shout, big shout out to the anonymous executive producer who sponsored the entire of season six. Thank you so much for doing that. Even with and being anonymous, I yeah. uh, so appreciate you. Thank you so much. So glad we got to get here and got to react to it as well. Yep. So really appreciate it. Uh, one comment from uh, the last episode, executive producer Christina says, so many thoughts, so little time. First, Amos, I was really dismayed by the contrived drama they set this character against Naomi and Holden. It's the last season, I didn't need it, and it wasn't in the books. Yeah. He basically told Holden he knows what he did, and next time he'll do it for him. The Amos I know isn't going to not understand hesitating to kill Naomi's kid because he knows his captain better than that, and he loves Naomi. Like, yeah. That's like his number yeah. one. Um, that's my one hangout between the book and the show is in the books this crew is tied at the seams with each other and even when they argue it's with a deep understanding where the other person is coming from. When Amos said he wasn't going back, I couldn't help but say, hell, hell no, that is not my Amos Burton. He would never uh, think of leaving his crew. They also changed up once again to have Naomi the Holden of it all as he was the one most freaked out and... I don't know what that says, sorry. Um, uh, and so with Clarissa on board. Amos didn't ask like in the show, but snuck her aboard in case and didn't tell the crew until they were all in space. Clarissa literally tried to kill her looking for Holden. I'm gonna need more than six months to let that go, especially suffer suffering from an insane amount of PTSD. Facts. Um, because we really didn't see the full extent of Naomi's wounds in the show, no, she was absolutely fucked up and took months to heal. Great insight, too. And Alex didn't die. Alex doesn't die. Na Naomi is way more understanding of Clarissa considering her own criminal history. In this show, it shows Marco being the king of the belt, but he didn't have this easy of a time in the books. Anderson Dolls was alive and well, and even a considerable opposition amount. Uh, others that, while needing to acknowledge Marco and capitalize on the opportunity, weren't his puppets. Philippe is often described as a barely leashed psycho. When he shoots his friend Philippe, uh, when he shoots his friend, Philippe is banned from series and are, as are all loyal to Dawes there. And that's when Marco acts like abandoning series was his plan and not revenge when they find out the UN fleet is coming. It is mo it's more evident in the book his little of a, mas uh, of a mastermind Marco is. Philippe also finds out his mom is alive differently, only learning through whispers on series with Marco purposely withholding the info. I feel like this is sucks. <laughs> it's not playing out this yeah, way. Yeah. Uh, Okay, overall, I love the season and uh, the Naomi and drama relationship completely for the show is one of my favorite dynamics, though they really didn't need to make it seem like Naomi was a puppet for Avarocero, uh, Chris, uh, Chrissy, in that interaction as if she wasn't always going to see her friend with both in positions only the other can fully understand. Can't wait to see the reaction to the finale. Apologies in advance for all the spelling er errors as I ain't trying to go back and spell check. Hey, it's that. all good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I appreciate the insight. Honestly, what I, I might just have to take the deep dive and read the books because I love it so much. And every time you share the insight for what's different, which is always the case when you read a book versus how it shows up on screen, um, I just feel like I would benefit a lot from seeing that. So yeah. I appreciate the insight and I under, uh, empathize with the, frustration, with the frustrations for sure. All right, let's get to the season six finale, the series finale right now. My new coordination protocol returns a coherent reply pattern. I feel weird. What happened? You got hurt. Like, uh... Killed her. I'm going to stay here with Joseph on series. Anytime anyone goes through a ring, they don't realize it. Taking a massive risk. And ours can rain hell on any point inside the ring space. Mm -hmm. Fix 
molecule? Green Navy is using standard evasion tactics to try to disguise their numbers and drive signatures. But it's clear that they are forming up into three major battle groups en route to the ring. They know we're going to engage with them at some point, so they're trying to split up our forces, reduce our torpedo advantage head to head. Mark Arnotis doesn't want to snug it out. He just needs to get past us. Given the engagement of the UNN, MCRN, and friendly Belter assets, the best opportunity to stop them will be here, here, and here. All of our combined forces against virtually all of theirs. Massing battleships is a numbers game since the age of sail. These numbers are too evenly matched for my comfort. Hard to believe the inner fleets have been reduced to this. I'm sure you and your faction did their part. Not recently. But things can change quickly. Right. And force them to surrender. And if any free Navy ships get past the main fleet action and come through the ring behind us, we'll use their own guns to blow them straight to hell. Mm. Is this the best you could come up with? Madam, I know the ring space in that station better than anyone. We'll get it done. Don't forget, I'm the one that brought you out, too. It's a miracle you've lived there. Hold upon us. Lift your heads, your eyes, your hearts, your spirits, and know this. We have been bloodied. Our day have been broken. And when we sweep through the ring, one last time and sweep away the Rosinante and all vestiges of the inners from our space. When that moment comes, our long struggle will finally be over and our victory complete. We will rise from the ashes of the inner failures and sow the seeds of our humanity across the stars. This is the end, the end of the inner, and their end will be our beginning. Search if we use our reactor to power up the rail guns. <clears throat> we have a couple weeks. Maybe. We don't have a couple weeks. How long do we have? I know. A lot of places we can go before they get here. Just pick a ring. We don't have enough fuel or reaction mass to make it to any of the colonies. Medina does. We've got half a dozen patched up soldiers in Medbay. With me and him, that's enough for an assault team. 
We'd have to hold a refueling tank for the initial Does trip. anyone here really want to cut and run? What's left of the GM Batista is still drivable. We send it back to the ring, set it to blow, and they come through. They'll take out a few of them. Maybe one or two more with the debris. Bloody their nose, at least. And then we just shoot it out with the rest? We have, have no support. Three torpedoes, PDCs, there's going to be nobody there for them. Enough red gun rounds for a few good salvos. As long as we try to kill Marco. I'm in. You're definitely going to do that. Any of our passengers wants out, all they have to do is say so. It's not shame in it. If we can get close, I could try a breach and entry. Take a ship out that way. You're shooting shots. Is there any way I can save my son? No, it's an Arab brain. to the idea of a transport union. Not even me. Then why are we still sitting here? The longer we dither, the more time we give what's left of the Free Navy to gather themselves and reorganize. We need to put something out. Put what out? A statement. Our commitment to collective action. The United Nations, Mars, and the Bell. Wrapping up, you know, it was, like, it was almost like a bit of a rush. We didn't get to flush everything out at the end. Uh, especially with the kids and the, and the... I think that's supposed to be suggested that's where the proto-molecules That's where it's at, I yeah. guess. I mean, that was just... Okay. But I'm gonna move on from there. I, I liked all the twists and turns we had in this episode. I liked the fucking ending where the belt just finally got a say in all of that. And I gotta say again, just me personally, nobody take offense, please, but me personally, this is some of the best space graphics I've seen, you know, it's on par with like Star Wars, like for sure. I mean, the, the spaceships look good, space looks good, sounds good, the fighting in space looks good. I mean, I don't know no other show that's on par with that, that's looking that good right there, mm -hmm. um, other than a big budget Star Wars type movie. But damn, I mean, this was, I have no problem with this. Every fucking time we go into space or do something spacey, they be inventive, creative, the way people die with the floating, it's just from season one to on, it's always been on point like that and I respect that for sure. And, and you know, as, as just for a show, I love every minute of it. I mean, you know, damn, they span six seasons on there and, you know, it was just getting it. So I can see how this was a book because you got a lot of source material you can go from to keep this thing going like you did and I just loved every minute of it. Yes, it was a little rushed because Marco's dad like quick. Like it was just like, this is the plan, we should do this, and then boom, it happened. He did. Okay, got it. We had to we had to keep it moving like that, but I did like to reveal at the end that her son, uh Nagata's son, did get off of the ship and was smart enough to be like, This is this is this is not gonna end, end good for nobody. And he out. So, I mean, hey, that there's a reunion to be had somewhere in the future. But hey, I am glad we finally made it to the end. Thank you, the anonymous sponsor, for sponsoring every episode to make sure we finish seeing it because I am glad I finally got to wrap it up. I'm happy about that. So 
I'm done, and I know we don't have any more shows to watch. So I'm satisfied with what we get. Thank you. Uh, shout out again to the anonymous executive producer for sponsoring all of season six. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you vocalized a lot of the thoughts that I had, um, especially for this this episode. It felt like something you would see in theater. Like the sound quality was there, mm -hmm. the visual aesthetics were there, the sound score was immaculate. I loved everything about it. I also feel a little robbed of the Marcos and Aros, uh when they get taken out because it what it like happened. And then it cut to the politics, but like I appreciate the fact that they allow time for the politics because that's such an essential and critical uh, aspect of the show, which I love so much. It balances not only like the space and the the battles and all of all of those effects, but it it, it does such a great job of balancing the politics between the three nations, so to speak. It does such a great job with that. I do have questions about the guy from the planet where. I'm thinking the that's ring. what the sample went because yeah. he seems really sussy and like <laughs> it just ended. So I'm just like, oh, we don't get to find out what happens over there. Um, so I feel like that as far as outside of uh, the reunion with Naomi and Phil Philippe, I feel like that's something that I'm like, I want to know what else happens over there. Like, is this going to get bad? Is this going to escalate? Um, but all in all, I think it was a fantastic uh, series finale. I thought all the, the drama the show does so well as far as the anxiety and like building up to how is this going to resolve, resolve itself was really great. But then you added that same element into the political side as far as like how we're going to resolve and create this unit, union that we all agree with. And I like that Chrissy didn't get her way. I like that Holden ultimately sacrificed his position because he knew it was right and the Belters deserved that. And that speaks so much to his integrity and yeah. his vision for and the trust and faith that he has in Drummer who absolutely deserves to be in this positioning. That like moved my heart to pieces so I really appreciated how that played out. I'm disappointed that we don't get to see more of it though. Like there's so much more that I feel like we could explore with it. I feel like it ended too quickly for me and maybe that that would always be the case because I really appreciate the show so much and the writing is so immaculate in that sense. Um, but all in all this this series stands on its own too. There's nothing in my opinion that compares to it. I know originally when we first started it's like Game of Thrones in space but it's not. It's yeah. its own thing, yeah. in my opinion. Like, it stands on its own two feet. It conquered a whole uh, element of the, the sci-fi world that we haven't seen before. There was no cheesiness or corniness to any of it. Um, it was elevated the entire way through, and you fell in love with the characters. You loved all the characters. Um, I'm so glad that a lot of people survived. I was really nervous about that, this being a finale, but uh, everyone did make it to the end. So again, special thanks to the anonymous executive producer who did allow us to watch all of these last six episodes. Yep. We really appreciate, appreciate it. it. Love the series. Uh, disappointment we'll see more, but maybe they'll revisit that in the future. You know, it's happened yeah, before. Yeah. But thank you again for sponsoring it, and thank you for uh, joining us on the adventure over the last six seasons. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another EP-sponsored reaction for the series finale of The Expanse, Season 6, Episode number 6. And until next time, peace.